chemotherapy is basically injecting or uh, giving uh, drugs certain drugs into the body which go and act on the uh, dna of the cells uh, so there are lots of types of chemotherapy drugs there there is a huge classification of the different different types of chemotherapies and there are different ways of giving chemotherapy so the most common one of the most common and well known is the iv which you know the the medicine is mixed either in normal saline or it is mixed with uh, dextrose and it is given in the veins in the form of a iv line there are some chemotherapies which are given orally as well some as infusion pumps you know so there are different different ways of giving it so basically they go and they act on the cell at the cellular level and that is how it causes the killing of the cell there are some drugs uh, like cisplatin the most common side effect is nausea and vomiting so cisplatin has a lot of vomiting issues but then there are some drugs which cause a lot of hair fall there are some drugs which causes a lot of diarrhea there are some drugs which actually uh, go and you know they act on the uh, fast multiplying cells and that is why the immunity may go down because the wbc that is the blood cells they go down so it cannot be a generalized thing what are the side effects because every side effect profile depends on the class and which drug it is cancer is basically a very rapidly multiplying cell okay so in the body there are different types of cells some which multiply very fast like especially the skin the cells of the skin the cells of the hair they rapidly keep multiplying and growing and there are some kind of cells which actually are very slow growing and they multiply in in a much larger interval longer interval so chemotherapy basically goes and acts on the cancerous cells but the chemo drug does not recognize whether this is a cancerous cell or whether this is a normal cell basically it cannot distinguish and that is why it starts acting on all the cells which multiply fast okay so that is why hair cells are one of those cells you know which are rapidly multiplying and therefore this chemo drug goes and acts on the hair follicle which is why you know uh, there is lot of hair fall and hair loss with chemotherapy life cycle of a cell especially the ones which are fast multiplying is usually like for example the skin and all it is usually 3 weeks so most most commonly you know after the first cycle of chemo is done the hair fall usually starts within perhaps 2 to 3 weeks as early as 2 to 3 weeks and sometimes you know a little later as well because it is uh, every individual has a different hair uh, cycle also so some people the hair follicle may have a cycle of 3 months some may have 6 months so it depends on the phase of the hair uh, follicle and the hair development so uh, sometimes it can just start within maybe you know 2 to 3 weeks and sometimes it can be late as well there are some some trials which have shown that you know there are these cooling caps so uh, there are these sort of caps available which are placed on the scalp basically the thick skin on which the hair follicles are so what they do is they cool the scalp and what happens is with cooling the blood flow is reduced so if the blood flow is reduced the chemo drug actually is in the blood so if the blood flow is less and obviously the chemo drug reaching the follicles is also less so that is the hypothesis that it can prevent hair fall but again it is not really you know full proof and it really doesn't uh, help so significantly as the hypothesis is actually it usually does grow back after chemotherapy because once the cycle the chemo chemo cycles usually end like 6 weeks or 8 weeks or whatever is the number of cycles then after uh, perhaps you know 1 to 3 months usually is the time when the hair starts growing again you know small small hair develop it's not a permanent thing the hair does grow back after chemo